Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you, and this time I'm going to show you how to make your IP address static in Windows 11. The first thing you want to do is probably check what your current settings are because you either probably don't know what to put in there, if you want to use the same, or what the range is to work within. So you could right click on your start menu and go to terminal. It brings up PowerShell. You can type in ipconfig and hit enter. And you're going to see the IP address settings for all the adapters that you have. If you, Depending which ones you're using, if it's wired, wireless, or VPN connection. In my case here, it's showing the wireless. And I've got my IPv4. You're going to see IPv6 in here as well, but normally you're not using those. So it'll be the IPv4 address. You're going to also have your subnet mask, which will be the same, and the gateway will stay the same. The IP address could be different from what it is now, but normally only the last octet there. So it would stay, in my case, at 10.0.0. something at the end. It could be anything as long as it's not currently in use, and it's not the router, which is the gateway, which is 1. So now that we have this information, we can go in and make our address static. Down by the time, you've got your wireless symbol and you could right click on that and go to network in internet settings. Now it might be the wireless symbol or it could be the network ethernet adapter symbol depending if you're using a cable connection or wireless so whatever the symbol is depending on how you're connected you would right click on that and you should get this option for network and internet settings when you're in here depending on what you're changing the address for you would go into the wi-fi or the ethernet it's going to be the same process for both if you click in wi-fi you'll find your wireless connection here and click on that. And this is where if you scroll down a bit, you're gonna see the IP assignment currently is automatic DHCP. You would just click on edit, change the drop down menu from DHCP to manual, turn on IPv4, assuming you're using that, in most cases you will be, you won't be touching IPv6, but with that turned on, now you can go ahead and start typing in what you want for your IP address, whether it's the same as it currently is or something different. And you want to make sure you're using the same subnet mask for what you had and the gateway. And the preferred DNS is normally the gateway. And you could also add an alternative, which some people like doing, which could be a server if you have a server in your business or it could be Google, which some people like to put that 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. It's Google's DNS server and then you would hit save. I'm going to cancel out of here and go back to the network and internet connections. If it was an ethernet connection, we would click on there and here is our IP assignment currently DHCP so we would just hit edit change the drop down menu turn on IPv4 and the rest is exactly the same so that's how you can change your IP address from dynamic DHCP to static in Windows 11 and if you found this video helpful please do give it a thumbs up consider subscribing even better give it a super thanks and thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one bye for now